Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, I received an email from someone asking me how they could change the default file settings for an image they send to a plugin. Now, specifically, I'm talking about something like this. I have this image here, and let's just pretend I wanted to send it to SilverFX Pro 2 by Nick Software. Now, there's a number of different ways I could do that. The way I'm going to use is I'm just going to right-click right on the image, go down to Edit In, and then down to Silver Effects Pro 2. And when I do that, we get this Edit Photo with Silver Effects Pro 2 dialog box. And down here towards the bottom, it says Copy File Options. And you can see that there's a number of different options. And it's defaulting to these settings, a TIFF a file format, sRGB color space, and so on. Now, you could change these right here. If I wanted to you let's send it as a JPEG, let's say I could do that or I could use a different color space. I could change that all right there. But the problem is that's not permanent. The next time I go to send an image over into SilverFX Pro 2, it's going to come right back with these settings and I'd have to change them every time. Well, you could change these defaults so that every time you send an image over into any plugin, they'll have the default settings you want. Now to do that, you have to go to Lightroom Preferences. If you have a Mac, Lightroom Preferences is under the Lightroom Classic uh, menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. So once you open Preferences, go to the third tab from the left, External Editing. And you can see because I last used SilverFX Pro 2, it's showing up right there and it's showing these settings. Well, let's change them here. Um, TIFF is what I want to use, and that's, as a matter of fact, what SilverFX Pro 2 uh, recommends you use. But the color space, I don't want to use the sRGB color space. That's the smallest color space. I want to use the largest. I'm going to go to Pro Photo RGB. I'm going to keep it at 16 bits per component. And since I use an Epson printer, Epson recommends that resolution, whenever you're working with files in post-production, that you have the resolution at 360. So I'll put that at 360 and no compression. So those are the default settings I want to use. Now you could see where it says preset, it says SilverFX Pro 2 edited, but it still isn't permanent. It's not saved yet. Now to do that, what we need to do is open this drop down again and you'll go all the way to the bottom and you could see that it says update preset SilverFX Pro 2. Just do that. And now it's updated. Now I'll just close down preferences. I'll right click on the image. I'll go down to edit in. I'll go to over to SilverFX Pro 2. And you'll see that it's a TIFF Pro Photo RGB with a resolution of 360. So I permanently changed those uh, default settings. Now let's do another one just for fun. Let's go up to Lightroom Classic and then down to preferences. Again, that's under the edit menu if you have a PC. And let's do, let's say, Analog Effects Pro 2. So I'll pick it from the drop down. Oh, that one's already done. Let's pick uh, Color Effects Pro 4. All right, so that one is TIFF, but I don't want sRGB. I'll change that to Pro Photo RGB. I'll change this to 360. And then I'll go back to that drop down, and I'll go all the way to the very bottom, Update Preset Color Effects Pro 4, and it's done. Now, when I right-click on the image, go to Edit In, and then I go to um, Color Effects Pro 4, we'll see those default settings. So that's how you change these default settings for an image that you're going to send into a plugin. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.